Hey everyone, Dave from BC Bushcraft. This is part four in my knife making videos uh, with knife making with hand tools series. This is everything that I've done before heat treat. So here I, I'm just marking off my pin holes. So I just took a center punch that I had gotten and I basically just eyeballed it uh, by putting, you know, two dots with a marker type of thing on the blade. And then I just went ahead and tapped them with a center punch and then I did my holes with a hand drill and I will say that it's quite hard to drill the holes with a hand drill. If you have a drill press, by all means use a drill press. Um, a drill press is a lot more accurate. You'll get uh, obviously straighter holes and things like that, but I didn't have one available to me while doing this video. I now do have one available to me, so that's quite exciting. But regardless, I drilled out the holes for my pins with a hand drill and it's quite hard work. It takes a while and it it didn't really go totally smoothly, but regardless, uh, I did get the holes done and uh, everything worked out. So in this picture here, I only have drilled two holes, but uh, at the end of the whole project, I ended up drilling multiple holes in my knife for uh, just weight reduction pretty much. So right here, I'm just kind of taking the burrs out and instead of using a file, you can use a file or something else to do it. And I decided to draw my, my outline of my knife to do the handles as well in this video. So this is a G10 and it uh, cuts fairly easily. Uh, I believe that this is a coping saw that I'm using and it was quite easy to cut the basic shape out with the saw and basically cut it out and then marked each handle left and right. So I kind of knew which one was which uh, in this next process. So I have my holes drilled through my actual knife blank and now I'm going to set it up and drill the holes through the handle scales. So I just pretty much used an F clamp and clamped it down to a piece of wood and went ahead and drilled through the white G10. With this part here, I did find it a little bit tricky to keep the hand drill totally straight. I do think that my holes are a little bit off when I put the pins in, there's a few tiny gaps and stuff nothing too major just a, a little bit um it's not as aesthetically you know pleasing as like a perfect hole but regardless the pins fit in and uh it should definitely do the job so like i said again if you have a drill press use a drill press a hand drill it's definitely the harder way to go but it uh it beats using a bit bracing a bit or whatever those uh, hand cranks are called <laughs> so uh here I'm just drilling out the second hole and then I'm going to do the, uh, I flipped it around and I'm going to do the other handle now. And I put the pin in place to kind of keep everything straight. I found, um, I mean, a lot of other videos will tell you uh, to keep the your hole straight is basically just uh, remove the pin and put the pin back and uh, you should get straight holes through your knife blade and through your handles. And I did get straight holes and everything worked out pretty well. But um, there is a little bit of wiggle room that with the drill, because you have to put the downward pressure and you're not going to be totally perfect. Um, horizontal, sorry, vertically pressing down there. It was a little bit, it was a little bit off, but not too bad. So I just finished off my holes and then I wanted to flatten out my handles before. I just wanted to flatten out the handles before I glued the liners to it. So I basically made um, some kind of X marks lines on it with a pencil and then just sanded on a flat surface, which happened to be glass. and this is the epoxy that I'm using, which is DevCon. I believe it's 30 minutes set time. And I tried gluing my handles to liners like that and then cutting my 
liners out afterwards and this did not work and I don't suggest it. As soon as I tried to cut the liners like I am doing here, I pretty much broke the bond instantly and I ended up having to pretty much do the process over again and, and glue the liners back onto the handle but it worked out the second time I did it and um, I just basically took a, a scalpel and scraped off some of the extra epoxy on uh, on the handle right there so now we're on to the sanding stage and basically before you heat treat it it's a good idea to sand up to maybe a 220 grit and you can kind of see my sanding set up there I got a big C clamp that's holding down my wooden sand sanding arm and then I have an F clamp holding down my actual knife and I just have a wooden block as my sanding block and I'm using it it's not really Windex it's a dollar store <laughs> brand of Windex uh, to lubricate the sanding so here I'm sanding the bevel and trying to get rid of the file marks. It was very hard work trying to get rid of the file marks uh, using 120 grit to do so. You can see at the tip there there's still some file marks so I had to continue to you know just labor away at getting rid of those file marks and that was the hardest part that I found about the sanding was getting rid of my file marks. Um, I mean if you have a, a belt grinder it's probably a little easier and you don't really have to do this stage but I did get rid of the, all the file marks which you can see here and uh, it's basically time to move on to sanding the kind of face of the knife so I just used my Windex equivalent and um, I was using the sandpaper that I had used on the bevel because I only used the center of that sandpaper here so that's why I have the block turned that way to kind of just use the, uh, the leftover grit of that paper so I'm not wasting a ton of paper and this is kind of it after 120 grit and then from there I moved up to 220 and as a disclaimer this is the second side of the knife I already did the other side and this is the second side so I already had a general idea of what to do and I had already worked you know a few hours on the other side sanding away so uh, this side definitely turned out a little better and neater than the other side as I learned kind of what works and what doesn't work and you know this is my first knife and my first knife doing it like this so there's obviously going to be a bit of a learning curve so there is the blade after it's been sanded to 220 and after I had done the blade and the face of the knife um, I went to do the tang all the way around the spine sorry of the knife and I just used the same sanding block and just tried to keep it really nice and square like you would draw filing and I sanded it up to 220 grit as well also I tried to finish part of the handle so this is kind of what the handle looks like when it's put together and I flattened out the top part by filing it so you can see that it's nice and square there and I also wanted to add a little bit of a bevel as a detail to that edge. So um, in the next frame here, I took it and put it into the vise with the pins in place. And basically with those pins in place, you'll get like a nice uniform finish when you actually glue them onto your knife. So here I'm just filing on an angle to get kind of a bevel. And I'll do a little bit of sanding on this part too, because you can't finish this part of the knife. Um, you can't finish this part of the knife when it's glued on. So anyways, I hope you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to post a few other videos if you guys want to watch it. And next I'll be doing the heat treat. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video too. Take care.